We're here with Umberto Rispoli. Uh, and Umberto, you probably ride the Del Mar turf and dirt course as good as anybody in the world. So Breeders' Cup this year is kind of like on your, on your home track. And I, I, I remember you came really close to winning one here with Smooth Like Straight. Uh, this year, you've got a couple of live mounts, uh, Anna Zed, Johannes. What's your thoughts going into the race on, on, on both of them? Look, John, uh, thanks for everything you said. Um, both horses, I think, they, they, come, they come in this race in a good shape. They, they're doing very well. Uh, Annie said, obviously, she needs to bounce back about uh, the performance we had at Del Mar last time, but uh, I think this is something then it will get fixed. Um, she's a, she loves Del Mar. She's a filly then always. She ran the best races here. Uh, obviously, the competition is way tougher than what we face every all the year around, but, you know, that's... Uh, um, a race then uh, with, the, with, the, with the team we prepared since last year. We skipped a Breeders' Cup last year to give her one more year to get her more mature and get her, and get her better. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, concerning her, that's, uh, that's about it. Johannes is in, is in a good shape. He's moving, he's moving well. It's a four out of four this year. He just seems to have come back like a different horse. I mean, he just has some kick the last eighth, sixteenth of a month. Definitely, definitely. He's, you know, he's been more mature. He's been, a, he's been a more manageable. As you know, when he was a, a little, a two years old, he was a little bit of rank. Uh, uh, right now, he's, uh, he's doing, uh, he's going better than ever. Um, you know, if you even watch, uh, go back and watch the American turf for Churchill, it was a catastrophic race, which I think uh, he probably would have been the winner. But look, uh, that, that is behind us. We need to look forward. Um, it's probably the mile of, with, the, with the classic, the, the, open, the open races out on the card. So many great one, ho great one winner in the race, great horses, great trainers, great jockeys. That's what the British Cup is about. Umberto, what is it about Del Mar that, that makes you excel? Are there any quirks to the track, to the, to the main track, to the, to the turf course? Uh, any nuances that, that, that you capitalize on that make you, you know, just have so many great meets here and so many great wins? Look, I think, first of all, Jonathan, like in everything, you need to have a horse. You know, the horse placed you in a good position, wherever you want to be. The dirt is playing like um, we have a this summer at Del Mar. It was like a, most for the for the, uh, uh, horses, then they go forward, the likely speed speed track. And uh, about the turf, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a rider which I don't like to go much around on the turf. Obviously, you know, I always looking for a gap through the fence. And uh, as I said, you need to be luck, uh, lucky. Uh, you need to have a lot of luck during those races because, you know, uh, once there is international jockeys comes around, there is no many holes open. Um, but yeah, Del Mar, you know, is a sh short stretch. You want to try to save as much as the ground you can. Uh, but at some point, if you have to go around, you have to decide to go around. If sometimes you have enough force to do that, just play your cards. You know, just don't 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 go, uh, don't try to get stuck. Okay, I know you got to run. Thank you for your time, Umberto, and all, all the best this weekend. Let's always get that first Breeders' Cup. Thank you. Let